a nation of raiders. It's a nation of raiders. We a nation of raiders. Hi, I'm Anna Kadena, and welcome to another exclusive edition of Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. I'm here with Antonio Hamilton from South Carolina State. How are you doing today, Antonio? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you for joining us. So you're from South Carolina. What was it like growing up in South Carolina, and how different is it now that you're living in the Bay Area? Uh, I come from a small town called Johnston in South Carolina. And uh, like I said, it's a real small town, very country. It's not like out here where you have all this city stuff when it's... Like everybody, like it's a whole, it's real populated areas. From where I'm from, it's just real small in population. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very different out here. And I know that you played basketball and football in high school. What was it like playing two different sports in high school, and how did you transition from one to, to the other? Uh, yeah, um, I actually played three. I, I did football, basketball, and I ran track. Um, I've just been around sports all of my life, and it was just, it's just a part of me, like being able to, to have all those different sports that I participate in and to manage my time as well with school and all that. Like it was just, it just became natural because I've been doing it for so long. That's awesome. So now that you're in the pros, um, had it always been a dream of yours to be in the NFL? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, it's still a dream come true because I'm not where I want to be, but I'm still grinding every day to try to get to that place where I want to be at. Great. And what are some of the sacrifices and struggles that you had to go through to get to where you're at today? Uh, a lot of time and energy and sleep. Like, I mean, when you want to be good at something or great at something and you want to accomplish something, you're going to lose a lot of sleep and you're going to sacrifice a lot of time and friends. Like, you're not going to be able to go out and hang with your friends. Sometimes you got to go pick up a book, read, or even pick up a playbook and uh, look at that or look at your, your next opponent. So it's a lot of time and energy put in playing football and stuff. Yeah, definitely. So we like to stress the importance of education, um, especially for our youth. What are some of the what are some of the um, some advice that you can give to our to our younger athletes on how they can balance the demands of the classroom and the demands of the field? Uh, first of all, well, know what you need to get better as far as on the field. That way, you know where how much time you need to put in certain things because you don't want to keep working all over and over again on really stuff that you're pretty good at but you can develop them as well but you want to work on your weaknesses more than just continuously working on your strengths so with that your books is the most important thing so like a lot of the people now they don't like to read so you got to take time out like I said you got to lose sleep and just read and make sure you go over your work very diligently and, and, and participate in class and even if you're wrong if a teacher asks a question and you answer and it's wrong when she say the answer, you gonna retain it just because you tried to answer and you got in the wrong. So the next time you hear, it, you can, it's gonna come second nature. So when you're in class, participate and and get in group studies. Do group studies uh, or during the off time when you don't have to any training work or classroom work. So that'll help you a lot. Exactly. That's that's a good point. So um, play sixty is a huge part in the NFL. Why do you think it's important for uh, for children to be a part of it? Uh, cause uh. Kids, kids nowadays, they're real accustomed to the technology, so they really don't go outside and play anymore. Everybody's on their cell phones and, and, and on the video games or, or social media. Like, get outside and play because just just you going outside, running around every day, that's, if you play a sport, that's going to help you develop because you're going to get that extra win. And, and most important, you get the, the blood flow and stuff going throughout the day. And so 60 seconds, you just spent... Just, Matter of fact, do 60 minutes. If you can get 60 minutes of just play time where you just actually have fun and soak up good air and just breathe, like, it, it'll really help you. Yeah, definitely. So, um, so for our younger athletes, um, you know, people go through, through stumbling blocks and things like that. What words, of, uh, what words of wisdom do you have for people that are, you know, trying to overcome those stumbling blocks to reach their goals and their dreams? Uh... Don't let your situation or where you're from be an excuse to be a failure. Like anything that that you don't like, but you gotta live with it. Use that as a fuel to drive you day in and day out to be better than your circumstances now and to push you to be even greater than where you are today. Right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm Anna Kadena reporting for Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. <laughs> <laughs>